Hi everyone, welcome to Bad Passions YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a straight, that's a pencil sketch with a straight overlap. Okay, so to get started, the measurements needed is the waist measurement. In this case, the waist measurement is 34, the hip measurement 44, then the length of the skirt. The length of the skirt I'm making is a short skirt, it's 27 inches. Okay, so I'll be placing my fabric on fold. So I'm going to be marking the starting line after folding my fabric. To determine the amount of fabric to fold, remember I'm making a skirt. So you're going to use the biggest part of the part you're working with. So, and I'm working with uh, the waist down to the knee. So here, the hip is the biggest. The hip, which is 44, 44 divided by 4 is 11 plus 2 inches. So basically, I'll be folding 13 inches. So having folded my 13 inches, so this is what I'll be using for my front measurement. So here I'm going to be drawing the starting line. Here's the starting line. Okay. And then place my tape from here. So I'm going to be entering the vertical measurement from waist to hip is 10 inches for this person and i'm going to be using a band so i'm going to place my tape from minus one because my band is going to be 1.5 inch but remember that i'll be using half inch to sew it to the band as i'll be using half inch for my measurement to sew it to the band so that's why i'm placing my tape on minus one my band is going to be 1.5 inches so i'm going to mark now from waist from this from my tape placed on minus one i'm going to be marking 10 inches here so here's my 10 inches then from this is the hip line and then the knee line is 25 the full length of the skirt is 27 that plus hemming allowance so everything i have is 29 inches okay so here is the knee line of the person here is the full length and then here is the hemming allowance so here is also the hip line And then here is the waist line. Okay, so now I haven't marked out this point. So I'm going to be entering the waist measurement is for 80 and 34. 34, the waist measurement is 34. 34 divided by 4 will give you 8.5 plus 2 inches and then plus 1 inch for your dart. So I'm marking my 1 inch for that. The hip measurement is 44. 44 divided by 4 is 11. Plus two inches, that's 13 inches. So now whatever I have here, I'll be taking away 1.5 for me to get the knee, to get what I'll be using at the knee. So here I have 13 inches. So when I take away 1.5, I'll be left with 11.5. So that same 11.5 is what I'll bring all the way to the hem and then the knee also. Sorry, all the way to the full length and then the hem also that's what i meant to say so this part is basically going to be straight so from the knee to the hip i'm connecting it and then to the waist so on this waistline here on the center front i'll be going down by Three quarter of an inch this is to eliminate bulge you don't want to sew your skirt and then notice that you have some gathering around there so i'm going down by three quarter of an inch and if you notice i connected it to the actual measurement of the person i didn't take it into the sewing allowance so i came down by three quarter of an inch and i connected it to the actual measurement of the person not to these three inches i've added here which is that allowance and sewing allowance So basically, this is what we need for our front. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Piece of my skirt. So I'm cutting straight on the waistline. I'm not taking away my bulge yet until I place my bag before I'll go ahead to take away the bulge. So I'm going to place the back piece now. The difference between the front and the back is that the back is going to have our zip allowance and that zip allowance i'm using is 1.5 so i'll place it and i've placed my fabric for the back piece as you can see i placed my front piece 
on top of it. So here is the center back where I have my zip allowance of 1.5. So can you see, you can have one inch depending on what you want to achieve. I like to use 1.5, okay? So now here's your hip line, or here's our hip line. Here is the knee line and then full length, of course, hemming along. And then this is the waist line, okay? So now at the zip allowance part, I'm going to come here, here that I have my 1.5. I'll be taking away half inch. This is to eliminate bulge from the back of my zip because you know our backs are not straight, okay? So now on the knee line, I'll be taking away one inch from it. So by the time I take away one inch from 1.5, I'm just going to be left with half inch. So I'll mark that half inch. And then I'll bring that half inch all the way down to the hem. So here is my half inch. So I'm going to be connecting this half inch to the hip line. Okay, can you see what we have here? And then I'll connect it to the, from hip to waist. Can you see that the line here is no longer straight? Now, this is the bomb illusion effect. You want the shape at the back. Let the butt have that butt lift. Let it come out well, looking like a butt. You don't want it to be straight at the back. Okay, so I took away one inch from here. And then I also took away half inch from the zip allowance area. I didn't take away anything from the hip. I took, only took away half inch at the waistline. So now the one inch that you removed here, you have to come back here and replace it. Remember, I took away one inch from the knee. So if you don't replace it, the skirt is going to be too tight. You're going to have a shortage. You just want to have your bomb illusion effect. You don't want to just, you don't want the skirt to tear or to be too tight. So I'm replacing back that one inch here. And then I'll also go ahead to replace back the same one inch here. So this is me replacing back my one inch. Then I'll come here to connect it to the hip line. So now this is my new side back line. Of course, that's the center back. So can you see, I replaced it back. So this side is now looking as if it is straight. But don't worry, by the time we are taking out all our differences and we sew it, the skirt will be have that perfect fit. Okay, so now this is what we have. So I'll just go ahead to cut it out because we are done drafting our back. Is that simple? So I'm cutting my waistline. Okay. So doing this, I'll come here and cut the sides. So here's the center back. I'm starting with the center back first. I'm removing the one inch now, which is for the bomb illusion. And then the sides now, I'm cutting my sides. Okay. So can you see now that I've cut this part out? Can you see now, now this center back is looking as if there is another hip there? Of course, that's how our butt is. That's how the butt is at the back. The butt is not flat at the back. So can you see that's the shape that you have? So by the time I shift this like this, can you see? So can you see that my zip allowance of 1.5 has appeared? But of course, it's not going to be straight because it will give the bomb illusion effect. So you want to be very careful with this. You come here and notch the zip allowance part so that you don't interchange it because you can see that this place is now looking as if there's another hip there. But meanwhile, that's your center back. Okay? So having done that, I'm going to take out my side piece. I've notched my zip allowance so nothing will make me mistakenly interchange this. Okay? So you come here also. Now I'm going to take away that Three quarter of an inch that I came down by. So now we have taken that away. So remember that we said we're going to have a straight overlap. So that means we're going to have half of the front piece of the skirt sitting on top of the skirt again. So this is what I'll be doing. 
a spice kit is folded into two like this i'm going to place my fabric and cut one side it's going to be on the right side of my skirt so i'm placing my center front here because i want to get the overlap to be on the right side so this is what we have here you make sure to have the half inch for folding the overlap so i'm going to cut out like this i'm replicating exactly the same thing but just half So now this part, so you can see what I left here. You have to have half inch, half inch that you use for your hemming. So basically what I left here is one inch. So this is it now. So I have my, I have my skirt and then this is going to be on top of it on one side. Can you see? So this is going to be on the right side. Okay. So I'm going to be folding it in like this by this one inch. Because that's what I'll be using to hem the rough edge here. So I'm going to be placing it in like this. Before I go ahead to cut out pieces for my cover buttons that I'll be placing on this part. Okay. So this is it. So the next thing to do now is to cut out my the, my band so the round waist of this person is 34 inches so 34 inches i'll be adding five inches to the length of my band so basically i'll be cutting a long strip i'll place it on fold i'll be cutting 2.5 inches on fold remember i said our band is going to be 1.5 but i placed my tape on one inch because i'll be using half inch to turn that's to join the band to the skirt so basically what i'm doing going to be placing my fabric on fold and it's going to be the length of 2.5 okay so i'm going to cut it out okay after cutting out my band i went ahead to iron gum stay on my band i folded it into two and then hemmed the upper part so can you see that i have just my 1.5 i've finished my skirt already i went ahead to fold the overlap with the one inch which is the hemming which is the folding allowance i added and then I sewed the skirt using my sewing allowance. So I finished the skirt. You can see how it looks. So now I'm going to be tacking the cover buttons I have on top of that part where I have my where I have the overlap. You want to carefully do this because the over, the buttons is supposed to the tack of the button is supposed to go all the way to the front piece of the skirt. You don't want to just tack it on top of the overlap and then at the end of the day it's wobbly. So you need to tack it down to the front piece of the skirt. So I'm going to do that carefully and then I'll place it on the mannequin for us to see what it looks like. So as we can see, can you see what the skirt looks like on the mannequin? It's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed making the skirt with me. Thanks for watching.